under eight minutes. The current operative world record is a 758, and that could probably be about 10 seconds faster if everything went right. There's actually a set of body armor right there on the right side. Well, now it's on the left, right there on the floor. But that is slow. We're not going to get that. I used to get that body armor in full game runs, and then we found a lot of things that made health pretty much irrelevant in this level. The only reason that I died was because I took too long to do the first skip and enemies were shooting at me. At least, I do have to say, thank goodness that you can't get boosted in this game. How much actual gameplay? Everything after the intro cutscene is gameplay, except for the last cutscene. Transfer the money so, electronically. Once you get past the intro cutscene, it's well, let's see here. There's about roughly eight minutes of level. Two and a half minutes of it is this intro. Every transaction on and then the last in London all gone Well the the last cutscene is also counted on that. So probably like two minutes of actual gameplay, I'd say. Give me a cell phone. But that's also including the outro cutscene, so the the eight ten down there is including Press this key like, to once the level's the finished. So or did you And that's for every level is like that. The outro cutscene al always counts. Press it and find out. The nice thing about including the cutscenes and the in game time is that if you find a way to skip one of them, then it actually saves real time and in game time, weapon. which we actually do in this Focus level. There is a, a very signal. long cutscene well, that gets like skipped due to a glitch. Excellent. So instead of being uh, an 11 minute money. level, then it became a nine minute level. Then with this skip, it became you know a little under eight minutes. Well, it was actually like nine minutes, like 37 seconds was the world record. Uh, before yes, this skip is being done. Do your best. I'll keep you covered. I hope somebody finds an easier way to do this though, because right now this level's not very competitive. Oh come on. I just gotta wait for that lag. Oh man, here we go. So stand here, and you get sucked into this quick time event, and that despawns all the enemies. It's also faster too, which is kind of cool. Uh, it, it saves time and despawns all the enemies for the rest of the level, so health is irrelevant now. No, I messed that up. Oh, well. That's way too late. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that. I paused way too late there. And so now we have the Trev fight. I'm just going to shoot him a bunch of times. Get the setup. Oh, I'm way too far. Oh no, we got it. Oh yeah, I can get world record with that. The 810 actually is world record. There's, the skip was only done in runs starting yesterday, so it's still pretty new. We're kind of in that uh, molten earth stage of speedrunning this level. Where pretty much any run that is completed at this point is world record. Oh. No, it, it's all the same. Uh, whether you shoot Trev in the face or not. Kind of weird, right? You know, you'd think headshots would do more damage, but they don't seem to. This quick time event's always the same. The buttons are always the same. So it makes it really easy. This next one's going to be L, and then it's going to be R after that. I always get these two mixed up, but I think it's that. Mashing with the GameCube controller really sucks, by the way. We've got the uh, Super Smash Brothers melee cutscene coming up here.
All right. That's where I channel my inner mango. Come on. bit of an advantage there with the classic controller, but I don't care. <clears throat> For England, James. For England, James. No. For me. Alright. That is the end of the level. No, the 810 was like, everything that could have went wrong went wrong. It was a pretty bad run. I, I got like a third try skip, I think. And then I messed up the hover, and I messed up the trev fight, so... This should be sub-8. Because I, I got the trev fight. I did mess up the second hover, so that's... the 5 seconds that could be saved. And then I didn't get the skip first try. The first skip first try, so... That's probably another 5 seconds or something. If this is a 7.58, then that'll be really good, because that'll tie my operative time. This is one of the only levels in the game, one of the two levels in the game, that is exactly the same on all difficulties. So theoretically, well, I say theoretically, but really the time should be the same between all difficulties. We've got a long cutscene here, though. This is going to be a while. <laughs> it's going to be like another two minutes, maybe, before we know what the time was. So... I guess I'll just wait the cinema. We'll just, you know, it's a good run, right? So we have to. <clears throat> I love the pilot there. He's like, "Oh no, I didn't do it." You're right. Oh my God, it might. Be might be 112. Dude, I wish. Bond here. This level probably has a minute and 12 seconds of actual gameplay. <clears throat> well, no, it's probably more like 2 minutes. It's 2 minutes and 12 seconds, there you go. 2 minutes 24 seconds, to exactly double. If this is a sub 8, then I'll move on to 007 difficulty, which is lower than this, but I think it's actually harder. <laughs> so, I'll explain why later. So, what's the time? Dude, that's crazy. I don't even think I need to change that, but... Wow, so that could... I mean, so, like 740 could be possible. That's crazy.